G'day guys, Greg here. Now, today I'm off to McDonald's. They got a brand new burger out. The Spicy Sticky Barbecue Angus. Mmm, 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 sounds good. So how about we whip inside, grab one, suss it out and see what it's like. Let's go get one. All right, well here we go. The Spicy Sticky Barbecue Angus. It's got a bit of weight about it. We've got the scales. Let's see how much it weighs. 360, 58 ish grams. Well, that sounds decent enough. Anyway, let's suss it out. Ooh, yeah, I love a new McDonald's burger. Sometimes. Except for the gut ache that I always get after I eat McDonald's. All right. Oh, look at that box. That's what he said. Da 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 da. Oh. Whoa, look at that brioche bun. It's sort of a whopper size burger, this, so that's good. So this burger is supposed to be 100% Aussie beef patty, Aussie jack cheese, rash of bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, and a spicy, sticky barbecue sauce with a touch of McChicken sauce. Ooh, well, that's looking sticky. But we've got a beautiful brioche bun, like I said, whopper size. And well, it's got some spicy sticky there, and which is transferred onto there with some lettuce, tomato, Aussie Jack cheese, the Angus beef, bacon rashers, I got two small ones, and some of their McChicken sauce with some more, it looks like spicy sticky down there. Oh. Oh, gee, that looks all right. Well, let's try some of this spicy, sticky sauce. Well, oh man, that is pretty spicy. <laughs> I'm not really getting a barbecue flavor. There's sort of one, but it's not like overwhelming. It sort of tastes slightly Asian. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice sauce, but it does have a pretty nice kick about it too. It's also a little bit sweet, so that's nice. Let's get this burger out. <laughs> wow, look at that bacon. It, it actually looks cooked. Take note, Hungry Jacks. Mmm, that McChicken sauce is nice and creamy. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. That Angus meat is just so tasty. Mm. Oh man. And that McChicken sauce comes in and makes it nice and creamy and tasty. And then the spicy sticky Angus comes in and makes the creamy sauce tastes really nice and sweet with a little bit of chili which makes the Angus beef taste tasty. Man, that first bite it's just left this really nice taste in my mouth. Okay, come at me again bro. good this is a really juicy and tasty burger now in saying that as you start chewing it more and more some of the flavors sort of dissipate and it becomes a little watered down it's probably from the lettuce and tomato there just watering it down but I'm not actually caring at this stage because it just tastes so nice and I just want to keep eating it <laughs> so I don't get that lack of flavor in my mouth that I'm really enjoying mmm Now I've got a piece of Angus here, and something I noticed was it tasted salty. 
it tastes like they've started putting salt on their Angus beef burgers because it's got a real saltiness about it, which really adds to the experience. It makes it taste even better. Well, I wonder if McDonald's watched some of my videos when I was always complaining how bland and boring their patties were without salt. And they've actually started adding salt. God, I hope that's true. But there's also the bacon on there, which is adding an extra layer of saltiness. And mate, all together, I'm really enjoying this burger. Or as they call it in America, a sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Now, if you're wondering if it might be too spicy, well, all I've really got is a little bit of numbness on my lips. But besides that, the spiciness of it hasn't come through and overtaken the flavour of it. It's just pretty mild and very tasty. But I am noticing that when you stop chewing it, it becomes sort of watery in flavour. And, well, it just makes you want to keep eating it faster. Anyway, I think I know now what score I'm going to give it out of 10. Well, value-wise, $11.30. <laughs> Nowadays, it sounds actually reasonable. It's got the bacon on there and the Aussie Jack cheese and all the other stuff and that big piece of Angus beef, so that seems all right. Flavour-wise, man, did I enjoy this. It was so tasty. You can taste all the ingredients of bacon and cheese. That Angus beef is delicious and the McChicken sauce and the spicy sticky barbecue sauce is really tasty as well. It's a decent size, it tastes really good. The only thing I can sort of complain about this is the flavour dissipates in your mouth too fast and well, you just got to keep eating it. And, but the thing is you just want to keep eating it because it tastes so good. So for my all over value, all over flavour, all over taste, all over everything score for the spicy sticky barbecue Angus burger from McDonald's. I think this deserves a... Mm. We give it a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Only because the flavour sort of dissipates out of your mouth so fast and may and you just want to keep eating it. And that's the problem with this burger. You, you'll want to buy one or two or three of them, I reckon, because they taste so good. But at like 3,200 kilojoules, <laughs> it's over a third your average daily intake for one burger, so... Good luck stopping at one. <laughs> but yeah, this is really tasty, and uh, I'd definitely be coming back for another one of these. This is probably one of the best burgers I've had from McDonald's in a very, very long time. Anyway, that's all today. I hope this video helps you decide what to try, what to buy and what to avoid. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I ate at McDonald's. See you then. Excuse me, bloody brother, mate!